Howdy y'all, it's your host Road. welcome back to Love the Game. We're continuing our Mafia Definitive Edition today, so I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Let's go on to our, uh, with our story and see where we are. Gotta like the hat and trench coat, it really uh, suits the character. See you on the other side, Marku. Chapter complete. Crim de la Crim. Intermezzo, eighteen thirty eight. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family for the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Popone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Debbie up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but... Didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that time, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam could point a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. 
when you're out on a street, scrapping, fighting for your life, and the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam are whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Mm -hmm. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mine to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I know a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. Guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'd be talking to someone else. And get it done. I need a rifle with a scope. If everything you say is true, we'll have a deal. Once the Don has approved. Oh, it is. It's good stuff. Our customers expect only the best. We run this city, and to make sure it stays that way, the hey, best handsome. is what they get. <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. He's a good boy. He is a good boy. Walk in on whatever they're doing. Three men all gathered around in the back storage room. Yeah, that ain't up for good. Hey, Tommy. The boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. 
Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? <laughs> Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. All right. Exterior color. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize you could actually change it. Let's drive. We are going hunting. Politician hunting. said you wanted the guard tower. They need to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Hey! Get out here! We ain't going nowhere! Turn around! Okay. Ugh. Lost Heaven typewriter is our lullaby. I love hearing all the rats. You Someone's go. coming from. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome here. I'm warning you, mister. <laughs> I can't see a single thing. It is dark. Understand that. Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight, not getting in. Someone's coming true. Entrance and exit procedure. Request proof and reason for visit. Yeah. No witnesses. You know the guard tower? Sir, uh, up through the main cell block. Case locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. All right.
Get ammo. No witnesses. is around notice to vacate There's a note in there. Hey. The way the light was going, it looked like there was another one. Read note. Prisoner's letter. I will wait for you, of course, for God and for your daughter. She asks after you, you day after day, wanting you to come home. What do I tell her? That her father is a criminal and a killer? That if he returns to her home swiftly, does not come with pittance and deserved suffering, but with the company he keeps? If you do not die in there, when you come out, you must change and end the bloodshed. This family's curse, this woman I know, share my bed. If not, I will take her away and you'll lose her forever. Sarah mourns you being locked inside that prison, but I know you have not wept once. Go with the Lord, CM. This door. How can I help? A what? Well, you think you can just walk through here? This is our place. Who the hell? <laughs> we got company? <laughs> you want to go too? Take them all out. to vacate oh, I'm not really seeing anything in here 
assuming this probably wasn't the right way then. Kind of curious though, why there's so many homeless in this prison. has to be a way to open up this one. Hey, dime detected. Surprised we haven't got our weapon yet. I really thought that would have came quicker. I thought there'd be more of you to evict us. Am I close to the guard tower? Real close. Elevator's out, but you can take the stairs. Sorry, no witnesses. I was never here. That's probably where I gotta go. That's all connected. It's probably an escape route. I'm gonna do a quick once over. Because I probably won't have the ability to look all around after I start doing some shots. Actually, should we check downwards first? Alright, so it does stop. We got whatever the mystery fox is. Laugh reminded me of the fox from uh, Jorah's Mask. All right, Guards Tower. Long shot.
Yeah, I think I wrote. I. List of lethal executions. Shot came from up here. That ain't good. They're right underneath me. Chief said he was declared dead at the scene. They have your gun. Luckily, it's a dark corner. He saw nothing. Go ahead and heal up while we're here. Anyone else? All right. Oh, shotgun. that there's a witness we don't want witness
Alright. Shouldn't be any more witnesses. Thank you guys for showing me the way out. Lost me. And we got a lovely police vehicle to go with it. Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. Says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> hey, uh, that's a good point to call it an episode. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Do what we get ourselves into on the next episode. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Peace.